So there is some information that I wanted to tell you all. There is a new asteroid. The name of the asteroid is Asteroid 2020 SW. It is going to come really close to the Earth, like almost close to 17,000 miles. It's not going to hit us, but it will come closer than the geostationary satellites, the GPS satellites that we have. So GPS satellites are like roughly around 20 to 23,000 miles, whereas this one is coming at 17,000 miles closer to the Earth. The interesting part of this asteroid, it's actually small, very small. We only discovered this asteroid few days ago, which is on September 18th. So this asteroid was discovered by Mount Lemon Observatory in Arizona that belongs to the Arizona State University, does a lot of science programs in that observatory. The asteroid is coming so close, it actually changes the trajectory of the space rock when it comes closer to the Earth. So the closest time when it comes, for at least from the US time standpoint, is September 24, like 7, 18 in the morning, Eastern time. But it's not flying towards the US side. It is flying on top of Australia and New Zealand. So the uncertainty of this asteroid is actually the time itself. It might vary plus or minus like 24, 25 minutes before or after, right? So the size of the asteroid is somewhere between 14 to 32 feet. So when it comes closer to the Earth, it might get bright. When I say bright, it's not visible without a telescope. We are talking somewhere in the magnitude of 13. So a small telescope or a decent telescope can actually give you that kind of a magnification. Uh, but don't expect that you will find it pretty easily. It's a very faint unless you are taking images and all, it is kind of difficult to identify that there is an asteroid over there. So I'll be watching this very, very close as well. Uh, the speed of the asteroid is 17,300 miles per hour. So it's kind of seven kilometers per second. Uh, it is flying so fast. It's interesting that we found this asteroid we have more technology now with the uh, telescopes and cameras. We are finding more and more uh, near-Earth objects, the NEOs, than before. Probably these were there before as well, but we didn't see them. Now we are getting to know more and more of these. Anyway, I hope this information is going to be helpful for someone who is looking for information on 2020 SW. If you are new to this channel, I take pictures of asteroids, comets, deep space objects with my telescopes. So if you are interested in these videos, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel.